hi guys and welcome back to another monthly grocery haul if it's your first time watching i do these shops once a month and i go back for just milk and fruits so what you're looking at right now is a one month grocery haul so it looks a bit excessive all at once but it's to last us for the whole month we are a family of three living in new york in brooklyn that's my son you can hear and um last month i asked you to guess how much the total of the um shop was it was bigger than this and so i'm going to contact the winner for that and give them their prize so i'm going to walk you through what we spend in a month in this huge grocery haul starting up front planting some red potatoes i'm going to roast these with the broccoli and cauliflower we love this Talenti gelato ice cream. One for me, one for my husband. Uh, spring onions. And then mushrooms there. I'm gonna be making a chicken and mushroom chicken and a mushroom sauce for that. Three avocados. It's mango season, so we have lots of mangoes. These are Haitian mangoes and they're so sweet. These are these are really good. These are actually better than these. Haitian mangoes, regular mangoes. Got some limes there because I plan on having a few uh, modellos. We have Brussels sprouts and broccoli here. I roast that and then we make it in several meals. These cherubs, which are some grape tomatoes, they're really sweet. Under that, you have kiwis for my son. Two sweet potatoes, Idaho potatoes, and I use these... Um, bags for my produce so I don't take paper, plastic bags home I got these off Amazon real cheap but yeah Idaho potatoes these are going to be for mash and for curries etc to put into curries and stuff I got some um, peaches for my son a bag of onions right here I went to Trader Joe's and BJ's and I've been waiting for these to come available in BJ's for so long and they finally were I really like these these are tasty I've not had these for probably about a year or two really good if you are ever in BJ's we have extra sharp cheddar we use this for grilled cheese which we're having this month we're having grilled cheese and tomato soup one time um, so we're gonna have this I got some of these English muffins my husband likes to eat this quite a bit and he also likes to this to be his bun for his burgers the bread I will go back for another one of these um, two pack of bread because we go through four of those a month um, blueberries raspberries my son eats these every day these are some treats this is for my husband I, I saw someone buy this and I thought, oh, let me give it a go. So I'll let you know how that is. Brocky, we love this. This is so good. If you're ever in Trader Joe's, get yourself some of this. Then we have two packs of these soft flour tortillas. I do quesadillas with these. We do fajitas and tacos with these. So these are always needed. Then I'm going to try these parathas. They kind of remind me of chapatis. So, and my son loves chapatis. So, hopefully, those are nice. Those are from Trader Joe's. And then we've got two packs of these meatballs. I use these in meatball subs, meatball and spaghetti. These are good to have. Taco seasoning. I could definitely make my own, but why bother? This is another find I got from Trader Joe's last month. Uh, a friend recommended them. These are so good if you're in, tra in Trader Joe's or you have a Trader Joe's near you and you like hot and sweet jalapenos. Oh my God. They were so good. I bought one pack last month. This month I had to have two packs. Um, some corn there. These are yogurts for my son. He really likes these. I've got two different flavors. And then we have peanut butter basil pesto heavy whipping cream i'm going to make this with the chicken and mushroom dish that i'm going to use with the mushrooms and then also my husband's going to make some um, swedish meatballs and it calls for this um i actually have more packs of these i actually bought six packs six of these no added 
Let's see the focus. These no salt added tomato sauce. I prefer these ones and I also prefer the small cans because we're only cooking for three. So no salt added is my choice. And then we have two cans of the black beans. This is a staple. I have to buy garlic all the time. Raspberry jam for sandwiches. And then I have bought some thyme. Also, there's a bag of salad here. Um, these milks, these are for my son. He drinks milk once a day. And I freeze one of these. They freeze really well. All you have to do is put, um, use hot, like about that much of it. So it gives it, time, it gives it expanding space. But yeah, two of those. This is uh, milk for our teas. Over here, we have sliced brioche, French brioche. We uh, do French toast with this. These rolls are for our meatball subs. Then I have these flour tortillas. And then we have mini ones. These are great for children. These are also great for um, like seafood tacos or anything that again, they're smaller than those ones. So I've got two packs of those. Um, I have cauliflower gnocchi. Haven't tried this before, but I've seen someone use it and they love it. So I'm gonna give it a go. And then we have this tomato Florentina gnocchi. Um, over here we have some light and fluffy, fluffy, light and fluffy egg noodles. These are for my husband who's making the dish with the Swedish meatballs with the egg noodles. Spaghetti, washing up bits. Um, this is olive oil. Then we have basmati rice. I feel like I buy that every time. Um, two packs of chips. Oh, and my beloved, oh my God, kombucha. If you love kombucha, leave it down in the comments. I love kombucha and I've got four um, here, a few different flavors. This is the one I like a lot. Um, we've got a massive pack of the goldfish. This is huge. My son goes through this as a snack. He's, this is gonna take uh, probably about two or three months to finish, but he loves those. Over here, we have the meat. We have um, these three packs of minced meat. These are for tacos. These are also for chili and spaghetti. Two packs of these huge chicken, chicken breasts. We've got two packs of those. These were from BJ's. Uh, and then we've got some Top sirloin steak. Some of these are for steak night and then the other one, one of them we're gonna use for steak wraps and then the other one we're gonna use for um, steak and broccoli. Over here we have three, three packs of Simply Lemonade and my husband goes through all of the, I have to get another pack of these because he really, really likes these. And they're like $7 at BJ's for three pack and you get a dollar off. There was a coupon, so that's a deal. Um, and then we got these, I got these from BJ's, this 24 count of eggs, smoothies for my son. He probably drinks probably two of these a day. He loves them. Um, I have some pork here. We're gonna do pork and mash one night. And bacon. Bacon is still really expensive. It's $7 for one pack. We used to buy three packs for $10. So that's how you know it's gone up in price. Um, over here I have the Trader Joe's um, silver dollar pancakes. These are for my son for breakfast. Um, same with this, Eggos, buttermilk, waffles, son, my son for breakfast. And then these are for me and my husband for breakfast um, when we fancy them. These are the best Eggos ever, thick and fluffy, get to know. Um, that's it. That is the week monthly shop. If it was weekly, I'd tell you. Um, that is for the monthly shop. I went to BJ's, I went to Trader Joe's, and I went to another local supermarket. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you got this far in the video, guess how much this shop is. How much do you think I spent? Bye, guys. See you next time.